hey guys welcome back last time we saw how we can have a custom 404 page for our user if maybe they click a broken link or they try to access something that doesn't exist so they can come over here and we provide them some links to go home and of course guys you can make this page pretty right now i want to show you how we can handle errors from the application or errors that come from the server so those errors are usually 500 level so most of them are usually caused by maybe when there is an error in the code that the developer wrote or if maybe there is a lot of load on the site and it can't handle some things it throws that 500 error so to illustrate something like this i'm going to come here and cause a developer error so i'm going to come here and remove we know that this doesn't exist in models but our server won't catch it but it will be caught at runtime when the user is using the application so if we come over here and refresh and try to go to the home, you see we get an error. So there's an error in the application and now this is being shown. So you might want to really customize this and maybe show a nicer message and try to pretend like you are accountable to the user for them not seeing the things they wanted to see. So for you to be able to show something that's custom here, you want to have a template, of course, the one you, you want to show. So I'm going to duplicate this template and then for this template, I'm going to call it server error with HTML, we can say something went wrong. Then maybe to try to be more accountable, we can say we track these errors, these issues automatically and our team is on it. Okay, so here we can have maybe have a link to, to go to the help page or, or about or whatever. But now to be able to serve this, do I say go home or something? And guys, it's very recommended that when you put your app in production, you have a way of tracking these errors so that when a user gets this kind of error, you get like that error logged in your error tracking tool where you can come and fix it. All right, so now that we have this, then we need a way to serve it. So we can only serve it through a view. So we need to create a view. So remember we have we have a helpers folder. So in the views, we can now have another view to handle server error. So for this, we don't need to pass the exception. We can just get the for the request. And then we want to render server error. All right, so to complete up the setup, you want to go to your urls.py of the main site folder. So over here, where we have handle 404, now we can handle handle, handle 500. So we want to do handle 500, and now this should be server to be handle server error. Okay, so let's save this. Now, if you come back to the application and reload here, you see that we get a message that is more descriptive that we send to the user. But still, there isn't a lot they can do about it. So maybe you want to, to quickly fix the issue because it would be limiting users to access the services on your website. So yeah, so make sure you set up error tracking for your applications for this work. And if you're not getting this view, make sure in your main settings.py file, you have debug set to false because this is only shown when the application is live. So when it's not live, like we talked earlier, we will only be seeing errors that can help the developer to fix that issue. So if we do this, you see that now we get a more descriptive error where it's coming from and all that kind of thing. That's gonna do it for now. If this helped, consider giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon.